Hey guys, it's Sam and this is my spoiler free review of Gemina by Jay Kristoff and Amy Kaufman. I picked up an arc of this book at this year's BEA and it gets released on October 18th. I am pre-filming this so if you are getting a flashback to like last month and what I looked like, yeah, because I wanted to film this right after I read this book. I have done a full review for Illumine, so if you have not read the first book, I would definitely recommend checking that one out. But I don't plan on spoiling anything from that book in this review, but if you want to be super careful, go ahead and check out that review instead. So this is the second book in the Illumine trilogy, and it picks up right after the events of the first book, but it is following different characters. So this is kind of a companion, kind of a sequel. Like I said, it takes place not the same time as the first book, it takes place right after, but keep that in mind if you were expecting to jump in with the exact same characters, you're not going to. So this follows two new main characters. One is Hannah, who is the daughter of the captain of the station, and one is Nick, who is a gang slash mafia member on board the station. So the events of the first book catch up to the station and everything kind of takes off from there. So first off, let me talk about the world building. Again, I really enjoyed the world building in this one. I liked the different things that are happening. I still don't quite understand the antagonist motive and that kind of plays into the world because of what's going on, but I don't quite completely understand that a ton. Like I, I do and I don't. But this is just the same as the first book. I really like how we use the documentation and everything and all these different forms of media to tell the story. That is the exact same and I really liked that. Next let me talk about the characters and I found myself not enjoying the characters as much as I enjoyed the characters in the first book. I still liked these characters but I didn't love them. I was really instantly connected to the characters in the first book and I found myself really missing them throughout. I just want to know what's going on with them and I missed so many of them. Like I liked pretty much every character in the first book and this book like I didn't hate these characters but I think they were dimmer in comparison to the first characters. Like I just enjoyed their story immensely. I also really preferred like the romance element in the first book because the first book had characters who had previously been involved and this book has characters that have not been and I just didn't really like that element. I preferred Hannah to Nick which is surprising because Nick is part of a criminal organization and I tend to really enjoy those types of characters but I found him to be almost a little bit overdone at times. Like it was it was too much and I just didn't like a lot of things about his attitude. At the very beginning he has pretty much had a crush on Hannah like for a very long time and he's very not like nice guy but almost about it which is really irritating. Like he's bothering her and he's like hitting on her when she's asking him not to and he's just kind of being overall really creepy and I felt like that behavior was borderline rewarded and I don't like that at all. So I found myself like really not liking him in relation to her especially because I'm just like leave her alone and I just didn't really buy their friendship even and then their connection like I just I didn't really like it that much. So I enjoyed her. I think she's kick-ass. I really like her but I didn't enjoy him as much and I didn't really enjoy their dynamic and I think there's a lot of things that could have been done better with that. Like I think even their speech style I didn't really like as much. Like we definitely have the kind of text speak that you had in Illumine in this because you have like text documents and stuff like that and I found like in this one there's a little bit over the topness to it like it was a little too adults writing teen speak to me and I didn't really like that element like I, it didn't bother me in the first book but in this book it just kind of bothered me a little bit. Next let me talk about the plot. I enjoyed the plot just like I enjoyed the plot in the first one. I did feel this one dragged a little bit longer. I think it was probably like a little over 100 pages before I got into it where the first book it was like 50 pages like I still was like Ooh. it just felt like it was dragging and I do think that there were some tropes that were kind of recycled with this book. There is this kind of like nature versus science element to these books which I really enjoy and is a theme I enjoy but I felt like there was a trope kind of used, I don't even know if it would be called trope, like a trope slash theme of that being used over in this book that was very similar to that first book and I was like are we doing this again? Like it, it was a little too similar for me like it's it's not similar, like obviously similar, but it's similar enough that I was like these, this is very similar and maybe like in this world things are going to kind of repeat like that and that's going to be like something that ties all the books together and that's cool and that might happen at the end of the series, I won't know, but I just found myself not necessarily enjoying that a ton. But once the action got going I really enjoyed it and I was enjoying most of this book but I was still thinking it was going to be like a three star. But then the ending happened, like the last hundred or so pages and I really enjoyed the ending and like I'm a person who if you give me a really bomb ending like you'll knock yourself up a star rating like for sure. So I think that definitely happened with this and I really enjoyed that element. There's definitely a lot more of tie into the first book with the ending which I liked because now going forward I'm not sure if it's going to continue to be companion kind of things or if it's going to be all of our characters like continuing all that kind of stuff. So we'll see but I liked the potential that the end gave and I really liked the ending and a lot of things that came together 
really enjoyed that. So I gave Gemini 4 out of 5 stars. I am going to be doing a spoilery gush video for this, which I will link on the screen, so go and check that out if you read the story. So comment down below, let me know what you thought of Gemini. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see all of you guys soon. Bye!